Now let's try to do some arithmetic operations. Now when we say we have to accomplish arithmetic operations, we require some operators like addition, uh, subtract, uh, uh, subtraction, division, and multiplication, right? So now to, for, to go for that, what we'll do is we'll create a new file. And now uh, to create a new file in Turbo C++, you have to press Ctrl Alt F, it will open the menu. Again, you can use a mouse and then you can click on this new okay and then to you can see now we have we can see two files one is this new one and the old one okay so to make it full screen we have to press f5 so when you press f5 it makes it full screen and you can see by default the name is no name 00.cpp now cpp stands for c++ since we are working on turbo c++ the by default the extension it will give you as .cpp but since we are learning C programming, we'll make it dot C. Excuse me. <clears throat> now, now what we'll do is we'll try to save this file. To save this file, press F2, and we can provide any name. Let's say we'll, we are we are going for arithmetic dot C. Now, now let's uh, let's start with the coding. Again, you know we'll be using some some kind of functions like printf or get ch or a clear screen. So we have to use two header files. First header file to be used here is stdio.h and the next one is it is conio.h. Next, uh, since your programming starts with main function, so we have to say main and then we say uh, we have to add, add two numbers, right? So we can directly use printf and in this printf, we have to we have to print something, right? Now, uh, so now what we'll do here is we'll say I want to first clear the screen. I want I don't want the last output, and I want to hold my screen. So get C H. So clear screen C L R C L R S C L is clear screen, which will clear the last output. And then printf will print something, and get C H will hold the screen till I uh, enter something. Now, now. Uh, if I say I want to print, uh, I want to add two numbers. Let's say I want to add two and three. Now to add two numbers, we have to use an operator called as plus operator. So we are using a plus operator here. And then uh, as in printf, we use this double quotes to print something. So let's say what, let's see what's the output of this code. Now when I run, compile this file and run, the output we are getting is two plus three. But hold on, we don't want this output. We want the output which is five that means these two numbers should be added now to achieve that task the problem here is anything inside the double quotes becomes string literal which means your compiler or your uh, c interpreter will not try to make any operation on that what i want i want to ask them i want to add these two numbers that means don't print it first add these two numbers and then to and then print now let's try Oh, and we are getting an error. It says type mismatch in parameter is because printf stands for print format. Now you can see there is something else of format here. So printf stands for print format, which means, which means we have to print string always. We can only print string. We cannot print normal numbers. Now question arises: How to print a string with numbers? Since printf asks you for a string and you are passing numbers. So what you can do, you can simply say, printf, I want to print some value. Those values are 2 and the addition of 2 and 3, which is 5. And I want to print this. Now Your printf will ask, okay, I will print, but just specify the type of those values. And the type of these values is integer. Now integer means you can go with all these numbers like 5, 12, uh, 15 minus 16 so negative range to positive range so those numbers are called as integers and to represent the number is integer we use person d person d means i will accept any integer value now how to replace those person d we have to use comma so this person d will be will be replaced by the answer that is 2 plus 3 which is 5 and now if i run this the answer is 5 simple right so this is how you have to use printf. 
Now, uh, when you really work with this programming, for sure, there might be some chances that I will change this number or I want to re reuse this number. What if I want to print in this way, the addition of 2 and 3 is 5, right? The output I need is addition of 2 and 3 is 5. So what we can do, whenever you do this, this thing, first you should store this value somewhere so that you can reuse it. Now where to store values? C programming offers you something called as variables. Now what are, what are variables? Variables are container where you can store your values. Now variables can be with any name provided the, the character should start, the, the name should start with a character or with an underscore. So we can say my variable name is num1. Again, you should always go for some logical name. You can take a variable name as a, x, b, somewhere, something. But the name should be logical. So we'll say num1. Now to how to assign values, so we'll say num1 equal to 2. Simple. And then we'll say num2 equal to 3. So we are, we are assigning these values here. And then we can simply say it is num1 plus num2. Simple. But the problem is, if I try to run this code, let's just try to run this code. You will see we are getting two errors. Okay, And when you go to the, these two errors, it says undefined symbol num1 and undefined symbol num2. It's because your C programming or C compiler always asks you for keywords or those keywords or those uh, words which are understandable by Turbo C++. Now what it means, your Turbo C++ knows about CLICR is because it belongs to Conio. It knows about printf it's because it belongs to Conio and yesterday it knows about get search but it don't, don't know about num1. It is your own variable. That means if you want to use your own variables or own keywords, first you have to declare them. Now how to declare? You can simply say I'm, I want to use a variable called as num1 and the type of this variable is int. Now int means integer. That means it will, con it will create a, content, a container for, a, for, for values which is of int type. And we can do same thing for num2. We can say it is int num2 which means the type of the value uh, in this num2 will be int. Now what is exactly int is? Uh, int take two bytes of your memory. Now when you say two bytes which comes out to be 16, uh, two bytes comes out to be 16 bits. Hold on. 16 bits. Now when it is 16 bits, the maximum value you can have is it's 2 raised to 16. Now that carrot, uh, imagine that carrot has six raised to. So 2 raised to 16 uh, value. And the value is uh, 6 pi 3 5 5. Yeah, 6, 5, 6. It's 6, 5, 3, 5, 6. Right? This is the value you will be getting after 2 raised to 16. That means we can start our values. Since we start the value from 0, so it will start with 0, 2, 6, 5, uh, it's not 6, 5, it's 6, 5, 5, 3, 6. And the value will be 6, 5, 5, 3, 5. So this is, uh, this is 3, 5, this is the last number. But since we say it's an integer, that means to start with the negative value. So we have to divide this number to two parts. One half range for negative and half range for positive. So the actual range, the actual range of int is minus 3 to 7, 7, 6, 8, 2, plus 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. But your question will be, this is the range. But your question will be why this line comes in this uh, weird color? Why not it's not green and white? It's because I have used something called as double slash. That means even if I run this code, the compiler will ignore this line or this, this part after this statement, after this uh, double line. It's because this is comment. So how to define comment? We have to use double uh, slash. Okay. And now if I run this, Again, two errors, declaration not allowed here. Yeah. When you want to declare something, always declare before uh, before CLR is CR. Okay, so you should define, you should declare all your variables before CLR is CR. Okay, so point to be remember. And now if you run this, the output is 5, right? It's because my values are 2 and 3. 
What do you find change by values? If I say it is 4 and 7, the output you will be expecting is 11. So if I run this code now, and the answer is 11, right? Now let's say I want to print the addition is 11. So what I can simply say is I can say, oh, we'll do that in the next part. 